Um, so I, I wanted to introduce the, the Wikimedia Foundation campaign scheme because we're a very new, uh, newly formulated part of the foundation's uh, community program scheme um, that's uh, uh, been around for uh, a short time. Uh, just about a year, we, we first kind of debuted some of our conversation and work um, as part of uh, Wikimania last year, and we're, um, uh, we're kind of be, we're going to be around and doing organizing. Um, so what, what is our scope? Uh, we, we are interested in content campaigns. Uh, so there, there are other kinds of campaigns, such as like social media or outreach campaigns that may or may not have uh, actions involved on the wikis. Um, but quite basically, we're, we're interested in uh, how, how do calls to action work in the movement that summon contributors in, focus the time. Uh, and there's a lot of different ways this happens. Uh, we're, and, and you're probably familiar with them uh, on projects like Wikidata, Wikisource, Wikipedia. Um, and, and where does this come from? Uh, we, the, the movement organizers report that I was part of developing um, uh, a year or two back um, was really uh, one of the main findings uh, from it was that there's a real opportunity for invited organizers to come into the movement through campaigns, but also uh, invited contributors. So new audiences that, that haven't quite grown the movement. Um, and so we're really interested in understanding how, how we make that easier. Um, projects like Ardent Feminism, uh, Wiki Loves Africa, uh, One Love One Ref have all been very successful at not only like creating co uh, content contributions, but also helping organizers feel grounded and connected and learn new skills in the movement. And, and so for our team, it's, it's, it's important to create both balances, um, to, to find both parts and make it work. Um, Felix and I are, are the little scrappy team uh, that, that's forming and we're in a, an exploratory stage right now. Um, so we're trying to figure out like, what can we learn and how can the foundation better support the space? Um, so it's, it's more of a, question asking phase um, and, and less of a, we have solutions now, we're ready to do everything. Um, and so, so what, what does that mean? Um, we've been observing campaigns uh, that the foundation has been involved in and or helping kind of form them. Um, and then we've been observing campaigns on the movement. So the ones you'll see highlighted here are um, Project Tiger, which was part of uh, Project Glow. Uh, which was a, a initiative uh, started in partnership with Google uh, before um, uh, our team was formed. So we're, we were mostly observers and we've been watching it and, and advising it very closely uh, as it's gone down the path. Um, I, I, was, I ran Wiki for Human Rights uh, last year, if you're familiar with that, um, which was a successful outreach campaign in partnership with UN Human Rights. And then Felix has been running One Love One Ref uh, for years. Um, but we're also beginning to do advising um, so the, the conversation uh, that Isaac will have uh, in a few minutes um, is, is from that advising. Um, and, and where are we beginning to document these learnings? Uh, we put together a, a meta portal um, uh, on campaigns uh, that we're starting to pull the documentation together of what we're finding, how we're finding it, what it looks like, and it also documents our team. Um, again, we're, we're kind of a new scrappy team. We're trying to figure out what works, what doesn't, and where the investments uh, the foundation needs to make for the space are. So a lot of what we can provide at this point is, is connection into the foundation and uh, advice on thinking about design of campaigns. Um, so uh, it, it, we invite you to learn more uh, on the meta page. And we're also going to have uh, two presentations as part of the CEE meeting. So if you don't get enough of us, uh, in the Q&A uh, uh, here in the office hour. Um, we invite you to join those two. Uh, one is going to be focused on one level ref, um, and the second is going to be focused on understanding campaign needs in the CEE region. Um, but uh, in general, we, we invite everyone to participate, and I know the CEE community is very active. Um, so that's uh, just a, a starter introduction to what uh, we, we are up to. And and I wanted to hand over presentation uh, to Layla and Miriam um, from WMF Research to talk about one of the key pieces of insight. So if you look, um, uh, let me go back a slide. Um, when we uh, did our initial research uh, into how campaigns work, 
um, we, we identified that one of the big challenges that a lot of organizers have is uh, building the work list and identifying kind of gaps on the wiki uh, and actions that you can facilitate. And we, there's some very foundational research uh, coming out of uh, Wikimedia Foundation research team uh, to identify exactly what gaps do we have in the movement. Um, and so uh, we invited them here just to get a brief introduction because they're doing a community consultation on that topic now. So I'll hand it over to them. Thanks so much, Alex. Um, can you hear me okay? Yeah, it sounds yes. great. Okay, great. Thanks, Felix. Um, great, thank you so much. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Leila Zia, and I'm here with Miriam Guerretti, Senior Research Scientist from the research team, to talk with you about some of the work that we are doing for identifying knowledge gaps across Wikimedia projects. Um, you will hear, um, if you are interested in this topic more broadly, we have a research showcase coming up in an hour, 15 minutes from now, where we are going to dive a little bit deeper in this topic. But for the purpose of uh, this office hours, um, I will share briefly with you, and let me share my screen uh, so that, uh, oh, actually, I can't share screen because it seems... Uh, the host has disabled it. Um, Alex, is it fine? Uh, or Felix, I sent you the link um, and you shared the screen. I'm not saying something very, yep, super deep here. So you can share it now. Um, yeah, I, oh, okay. Let me do that then. Let me try it. Thank you. Okay, so do you see the knowledge gap index taxonomy meta page? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Um, so what I wanna talk with you is that within the research team over the past year, we have worked on developing, uh, particularly in the space of content, a taxonomy of content gaps in Wikimedia projects which we're currently dividing them into three main categories of policy, accessibility and diversity content gaps, which then further get divided into um, specific types of sub gaps. What we're hoping to do uh, with Alex, Felix, and uh, you all is as we're thinking about campaigns and what content um, to bring to the Wikimedia projects and identified as part of this economy of knowledge gaps, to have a more holistic view of all the different types of uh, content gaps that we have. And then we connect these to the campaigns that we init initiate or at least incentivize contributors to consider these different types of gaps. Some of these gaps that you see here are perhaps more familiar to you. For example, if you look at the diversity space, you see that gender is a focus of work on um, content gaps. This is no news to many of you in the community. Uh, multimedia gaps are the type of gaps that you see usually addressed uh, with efforts such as uh, Wiki Loves Monuments or Wiki Loves Africa, Wiki Loves Folks. Um, the set of uh, annual projects and efforts that bring multimedia, multimedia and visual content to Wikimedia projects. Um, so I will actually leave it at this and say that we have, uh, we are developing the way to systematically categorize the different types of knowledge gaps that exist on Wikipedia projects. The particular focus of campaigns at the moment can be only in the content space of uh, the broader taxonomy that we are developing. Um, although I'm curious to talk with you all about how campaigns can potentially bring new contributors, uh, new contributor types to the movement. Um, yeah, and I would love to see how we can collaborate more closely with each other and make sure that as you move forward with the different content um, uh, campaign types, we can make sure that we inform you of the different types of gaps and help you understand where to invest your efforts to help address knowledge gaps at a more global scale. Miriam, uh, would you like to add anything? So no, just one thing. Uh, that's a that's a very good summary. Uh, hi, I'm Miriam, a senior scientist in the team. Uh, so just uh, one note on um, the focus on content gaps. 
for the space of campaigns. Uh, I think uh, there maybe we we should mention that there is some background work we are doing on understanding the relationship between the content readers and contributors gap. And we see that basically these are intrinsically highly related. So even impacting uh, one of the gap in content might might have sorry um, bridging one of the gaps in content might have some impact on on the readership gaps and therefore on the contributors gap being contributors a part of readers so they are intrinsically related so i think the taxonomy as a whole might be interesting uh for the space of campaigns that's the only thing i have to add but thanks a lot um Thank you very much um, for the presentation, Leila and, and Miriam. Um, Thank you. Was somebody speaking? Oh, that, that was me. Okay, good. So um, as, you, as, as you all have heard, like these gaps um, influence um, the campaigns that most of our community members run. Uh, most of the campaigns that go on are um, to fill a certain gap. And it, we thought it was very important to showcase what the research team was doing at the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, we will have more time to speak about this in the Q&A session, but then to move on to the next one, um, there will be a presentation from Isaac Olatunde. Um, Isaac was one of the lead organizers for the Wikipedia pages wanting photos. And I'll hand over to Isaac. Isaac, over to you. Hi, Isaac. Hello, Hello, sorry, I've been battling with the internet connection here. So hello, everyone, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, thank, thank you very much. Um, my name is Isaac Olatunde. Uh, I'm the project manager Hi, Isaac, we, you dropped. Oh no, we might have lost him. Uh, um, we'll, we'll check, we'll check in with him um, on other chat channels and see if we can bring him back. Uh, but I, to I think connect to the internet is extremely bad way. Oh, we just lost activity. Um, a good example of how different parts of the movement have different connectivity uh, opportunities on the ground, and this is a, a, a perfect example of the knowledge gap. Uh, Hello, Alex. I'm back. Oh, excellent. Okay, okay. So sorry, uh, the, the internet uh, actually uh, led to that disconnection. So um, I, I will need to share my screen. Uh, I don't know, Felix, can you grant me the permission to share my screen? Yes, you already have that. You can go ahead. Oh, okay. Could you please make my second uh, account, uh, I mean, grant the second account the permission? Okay, you have It looks account. like, uh, yeah, I, I'm using my mobile and my PC. Okay, I'm doing that right now. I just did. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I would like to ask if you can see my screen. Could you please confirm if you can see my screen? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. That one makes sense. Okay. Just like I, I said earlier, uh, my name is Isaac, and um, I'm popularly known by user T cell on Wikimedia projects. Um, in other capacity, I'm the secretary to the board of um, Wikimedia Nigeria Foundation. Uh, 
uh, I've been around for some time, so, but I'll be talking to you about uh, the WP, WP campaign. So we, we realize there are basic problems uh, about the use of um, photos on Wikipedia articles. There are a lot of beautiful articles well written with good prose, but many of them are actually lacking photos to illustrate them. So thousands of these articles are on various languages, but without photos. And um, the Wikimedia Commons, our repository of um, image, hosts millions of photos, but relatively few of these photos have been used on Wikipedia articles. And annually, several photographic contexts are organized by the community, but only a few of the photos contributed are used on Wikipedia articles. This is a very huge gap. That's a problem we feel we should find a way to, to solve. So, and um, we like that uh, campaign as a track record. It, it's been established that campaign have the most consistent track record for movement groups. And this is why we felt we can use a campaign approach to actually bridge that gap. And that was what gave Beth the, uh, the Wikipedia pages wanting for those campaigns. So like I said earlier, the campaign otherwise known as the WPWP campaign was conceptualized to solve the three key problems that I've highlighted in the problem statement above. So it's, it was really very challenging for us being a new campaign, it was a new experiment and we needed um, to actually brainstorm with some experienced um, members of the community to see the best way to implement this. Uh, many thanks to Alex, uh, Felix, and uh, Sam Watson at the foundation uh, for the uh, advice and help in ensuring that we were able to implement this because it, it wasn't really easy because we had to look for a better way to uh, implement it. And uh, one thing that was suggested to us was to build this around our local affiliates. So we uh, were actually looking for better ways to engage the community. So we recruited local organizers uh, from different part of the world. And um, being a new experiment, being a new campaign, we needed to actually design a guide for them because um, there's no template for this sort of uh, campaign. So we had to you know, look for a ways to design something that would guide them to implement that in their various communities. And that was re really, really uh, uh, exciting. Then we also keep a checklist of our workflows to actually monitor the progress uh, and, and processes, I mean, I mean the planning processes. So um, that's really enable us to track the preparation stages. And um, we realize that if we have this to clash with a major campaign, that, that's, that's likely to be a problem and um, may actually reduce participation. So we, uh, realized that July, between July and August were free. So we, we thought of um, actually launching it during this period uh, where there will be no major uh, campaign. So it was launched on the 1st of July uh, and run through uh, August. Uh, uh, and the uh, entry ended uh, in the first of um, August, uh, same year. And um, it's really difficult because we don't actually know how to track contributions by various people. And uh, we discussed with the strategic team at the foundation, and uh, it was suggested that we could actually uh, use the hashtag tool, uh, though very limited, but at least it was still very helpful for us to implement the major edition of this campaign. So during the campaign, we tried to monitor participation, though very not too easy because we have to watch various um, recent changes of many language Wikipedia. And um, we had to respond to many questions, concerns from different parts of the world, different local athletes. You know, that was really time consuming, but really fun at the same time. So we, we also created a social media handles for the campaign. We started from zero and uh, I was very excited that we were able to get um, about uh, 213 followers at the end of the campaign, which means a lot to us, especially for a new experiment as the WPWP campaign. So we were also engaging the local editing communities. 
because it's a new campaign and people just say hey, hey, hashtag WPW. Hey, what's going on? What? Who are these people? It, could this be spam or something? So it generated some uh, confusion that led to several discussions. So managing those um, discussions weren't too easy for us, but we were able to address uh, the major concerns that actually minimize the disruption at, at, at some level. So the challenges uh, were enormous, but um, the three most important uh, challenges we encountered was um, uh, the community response to disruption. Some communities were very harsh towards new editors, and um, dealing with that was quite challenging. Yeah, even though we realized that um, managing a new campaign, especially if it involves editing live articles, um, could be very tedious and challenging. We understand that. But the responses we received from some of the uh, community members in those editing community were very harsh. But that, that's not um, uh, unexpected, uh, but we were able to deal with some of that. Then the tracking tool, uh, we enjoy sharing milestones. Uh, I remember when people added photos to more than 20,000 articles, we did share that um, milestone. Uh, but at some point, the tracking tool weren't tracking in real time. So it was very difficult for us to actually give uh, a very accurate figure. So we had to stop because we don't want to actually share a misleading information at some point. Then uh, that's one of the challenges we have, the, uh, with, we have with the hashtag too. But many thanks to Sam Watson, who uh, was always very around to actually address um, some of this problem and try to fix them timely. Another thing we had issues with is managing editors, I mean, new editors' participation. Uh, a large uh, uh, numbers of the participating uh, editors were new editors. So many of them were actually not doing things correctly. And when you leave a message for them, they don't even know they have a talk page where they can actually respond to community concerns. So this, were, this was very, very challenging for us. But um, we also adopt, uh, when we realized the disruption were, were very, I mean, were enormous, we had to uh, contact the various um, organizing communities to try to organize, uh, uh, to retrain participants, even though that was already in the guideline for them to implement the campaign. So we had to talk to them, persuade them to actually retrain anybody from their community that were new editors uh, to contribute to that campaign. And that really worked, uh, especially for the Nigerian community where uh, a large number of people coming through for that place were actually new editors. So the, the training were really very, trainings were really very helpful for, for us. So for new campaign and for major campaigns, community support matters. Wikipedia is a community driving encyclopedia and community support in content improvement campaigns really matters. The WPWP campaign was supported by 36 Wikimedia committees. 18 Wikimedia committees in at least 14 countries organized one or more trainings to support the campaign. This is something we really find very exciting. So the campaign was coordinated in several language um, Wikipedia with the help and support of this um, communities. So we also received support from Mission Align organizations. Uh, uh, the Wikicreed uh, supported the WPWP campaign with a mini grant and um, the National Library and Archives of Cubic uh, organized a training for participants in Canada to support the campaign as well. This is something we really find very, very interesting, you know, having the Mission Align organization supporting a new experiment uh, as uh, the WPWP campaign is something that gives us um, uh, a lot of uh, courage and uh, uh, motivations to uh, you know, support the campaign in, in a better way. Ah, I'm really excited. At the end of the campaign, we had over 90,000 Wikipedia articles improved with photos in about 272 language Wikipedia projects by about 600 uh, editors across multiple languages, Wikipedia. This is really huge for us because um, it's a new experiment. We weren't really expecting the level of participation we had uh, uh, during the campaign. And um, this really makes us uh, really proud of the implementation processes and the support we received from 
uh, the uh, community. Of course, uh, the English Wikipedia uh, recorded the largest and the most uh, improved Wikipedia project with over 52,000 articles improved, then followed by the Swahili uh, Wikipedia. I'm really excited about Swahili Wikipedia because it's a small language Wikipedia, an African language Wikipedia, and we realize that a lot of people from that community enjoy adding photos because it's very easy and they find it very exciting. So we're very happy because it's actually improved and promote contributions to local languages like uh, uh, Swahili Wikipedia, for example. Then we also have um, a huge number of participation from the Turkish community and uh, the Turkish um, Wikipedia uh, language as well. So this is something we are really very proud of. Our top contributors uh, ranges from um, 12,300 and something to, uh, I mean, we, we had several contributions from different people. Uh, we have a good number of them that had over 5,000 uh, pages improved with photos, especially some new editors. I, I know at least one or two uh, new, brand new editors with over uh, 5,000 page improved, pages improved. So, but uh, at the moment, the jury is going through these edits to be sure that they were actually gaming the system to actually fix any error they see and also try to check the error rates to see if it's something we can actually award prizes for. So the review process is still on. And um, by the end of this month, uh, on or before 31st of September, the uh, most... Um, uh, the top contributors, the first three contributors will be announced to the global communities. So we have um, a, a graph showing the edit over time. Uh, you can see we got to the peak in July and the condition began begins to decline at some point. But that, that was really very good. So um, I, I would also like to, let, to share the, uh, the lesson learned with you. Um, we actually... Uh, receive feedback from local organizers, and the most popular goals noted as a priority by at least 75% of the local organizers of the campaign were to increase contributions and to build and engage the community. So the number of staff and volunteers I was spent in organizing the campaign was between one to five hours per week. And the majority of Wikipedia pages wanted for this campaign organizers use grants funded by the uh, Wikimedia foundation in, in addition to uh, volunteers time. We also receive um, a lot of feedbacks from large Wikipedia community, prominently the English Wikipedia and the French language Wikipedia. So based on the feedback we receive from those communities, it, it is clear that um, similar cash price or gifts vouchers could improve participation, but may sometimes result in poor contributions by participants whose aim is only to win the prize, based, I mean, uh, just to win the prize, not actually to improve uh, the encyclopedia. This is a very useful feedback for us, and um, we're actually considering reviewing the uh, prizes for the next edition and other ways to improve the entire campaign uh, overall. I'm really happy to share uh, this um, story with you today because um, we're very happy and um, we feel we can receive more feedbacks to improve the campaign in the subsequent editions. So thank you. Please keep in touch with me. My name is Isaac Olatunde. Um, my email address is reach out to Isaac at gmail.com and my uh, username on Wikimedia project is user Thank you everyone for listening.